Today, you're getting a brand new look at the new skimmer on my 300 gallon reef tank. Let's do this. What's up guys, welcome back to Real Reefing TV where I help you save time, money, and frustration in the real reefing hobby, sharing my experiences and knowledge. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. There's new videos coming out all the time and uh, you know, hey, follow along. Additionally, I just want to say a big thank you to Coral View for sending me this max spec skimmer. So in all clarity and honesty, this was sent to me. I did not pay a dime for it. However, I am going to give my straight opinion of this skimmer in this video. So stay tuned to see what I like and some of the things that I've had to uh, kind of maneuver around to make them work right. So let's get into it. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. It's the Era Aqua Duo skimmer from Backspect. Let's get it open, see what's in the box. So, yo, you, what, you, uh, you, there we go. Let's take a look at what's inside here because it's absolutely awesome. We have this, we have the manual, which is available in like five different languages, the shiny new controller that does everything you want it to do and more. And, you know, the huge power supply, you got to have that, you know. And, um, yeah, so everything came in, like, this really nice kind of uh, um, uh, bags and um, really nice construction. Love what they've done with it. Nice little handle on the back there, the white, the clear acrylic. And we'll go ahead and get into what that little doohickey there is in just a few minutes. Let's take a look at what else is in the box. You got some brackets and some rubber feet, you know, of course. Nice little bag over top of the actual skimmer. And look at this absolutely gorgeous skimmer. Now this skimmer that I'm actually replacing is the Bubble Magus C99 and it is just this huge behemoth of a protein skimmer. This thing was you know about 16 and a half inches by 14 and a half inches in uh, kind of area and then 26 inches tall and what's crazy is that that bubble magus skimmer as big as it was and as as crazy as it was only drew in 900 liters an hour of air if you compare that to the era aqua duo ad 600 not 8600 but ad 600 that footprint is only 10 Point two inches by 8.3 inches in footprint and only 22 inches tall. So much smaller of a footprint. But if you look at the air intake of this and only actually like one pump, one engine that's running this thing, one, one plug that is, and it is taking in over about 1,500 liters an hour of air. So you're getting a lot more air. You're getting a lot more um, you know, bang for your buck in this thing. And what's also crazy is that it, it takes about the same amount of wattage. So it's drawing the same amount of power, but you got a lot more features and a lot more performance packed into a smaller footprint. And I think we can all agree that that's better all around for the sumps and, and the sizes it stands these days. Some of the other things that are really awesome on this AD600 is just some of the innovations that they put into this thing. Um, let's go through some of the specs real quick. They say that this thing will go for um, uh, aquariums up to about 450 gallons. I really think that probably my size tank of the 300 is really about the top end of where you should be with it, although it is very powerful. Um, again, I just think that you should have kind of an oversized skimmer for what you're trying to do. So again, I probably wouldn't go any more than 300, and that's what Marine Depot recommends. This thing is super quiet. I've been running it on my tank for a couple of weeks now and boy does it pull out the skim eight really really fast i found that you know i'm getting really good skim even a day or two after emptying the cup so it, it does really well there has dual air intake and what's really neat about that is that the actual you won't find the air hoses on this tank like you would see here on my bubble maga skimmer 
they actually run along the back and then down into the base and then up from the base into the actual pump. So that is really neat and really unique and I haven't seen that before. What is also really unique about this skimmer is the way that the cup attaches to the uh, the skimmer body. It has these two little kind of latches that rotate around that um, that kind of cinch it down onto the base. So there is uh, very little clearance needed to be able to get that cup off of the body. Another thing is that it is one motor or one pump that is driving two needle wheel impellers. So it's really efficient and I love the fact that I only have one plug instead of two taking up room on my Apex and we know that those eight outlets are like gold for us Apex users. So that's really cool. Another thing is that it's DC controllable. I didn't have that with my other one. It was just kind of all on or all off and this you can actually fine tune it for your application. Not only can you adjust the um, the power of the pump, but you can also adjust the amount of um, water that it's able to take in from your uh, sump. Well, why would you want that? Well, you might not want to over skim your tank and, and start taking out things that you don't want to or just get your aquarium too clean. That can happen. And, um, and so this allows you to basically set it so that it, that side of the pump will recirculate and still pull in air, but recirculate the water that's already inside of the skimmer and put that back up in through the pump. Another thing that it has that I absolutely, this, this is probably my favorite, favorite part of the skimmer is the overflow protection. What it incorporates is a little float switch. I mean, it's ingenious and, and we, I, I've been talking about doing it for a long time on my C99 is taking a float switch and attaching it to the inside of the skimmer cup so that when it over, when it gets too full, it'll just shut itself off by the apex. But they've actually integrated this into the skimmer and um, the ability to hook that uh, little float switch up into the actual controller of the pump. So it will shut it off. Once the float switch goes back, back down, then it'll turn the skimmer back on. Now, I, like I said, I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I thought I was done with the overflows. Well, it does take a little bit of uh, kind of some finagling with this float switch. You kind of have to pull it down a little bit further than, um, than what it's set at originally. And I'll show you what I mean by that here. But I've been able to fix it to the point where that's not happening. I didn't really have to modify anything. You just kind of have to pull the, the float switch down a little bit further down into the cup so that it'll actually shut the skimmer off um, and keep it off once the cup is full. Now this thing also has a feed mode. I'm not sure what that does for you with a skimmer, but <laughs> But it has that. Um, I think that if you have a feed mode on your tank, then you should just have it programmed into your Apex where it'll shut the skimmer off and then leave a five or so minute delay so that the skimmer will kick back on once the sump is at its normal operating level. Otherwise, you will end up with an overflowed skimmer, which is not fun. I also like the little handle on the back of the skimmer cup. It's not that big of a deal, but I just find that it's nice. One thing that I have found is that the top and the holes in the top get really dirty and they kind of look ugly, but you know, I mean, this is a skimmer, so you know, come on with it. At the bottom, another thing that's really cool is the way that they've integrated these thumb screws and like little latches for how it detaches from the base of uh, how the body detaches from the base of the skimmer. I think that that's really neat as well and innovative. All in all, I think that they've done a really awesome job with this skimmer. I'm excited to have added it to my system and I really feel like it's gonna do a great job of uh, managing the nutrients as I've seen over the past couple of weeks. So if you have the budget for it and you're looking for an awesome new skimmer for your system, this thing is uh, it's sexy, it's silent, and it's uh, it performs great, so definitely worthwhile. I'm going to drop a link in the description below so that you guys can definitely check that out and see all the specs for yourself and make an informed decision on whether you should buy this skimmer for your system. Thanks a lot for checking out this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and check out some of my other videos on some of the equipment and what's got, what I've got going on on this 300-gallon reef tank. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace. Love y'all. Later. Bye.